Yes, I'm into this very much so. I know y'all didn't know this, but I am. This channel is about So amazing. Everyone, please welcome to the show, Ty Smith. And if this is your first time visiting, I thank you for coming over here. But do me a favor, go over to my channel and I want you to check it out in its entirety. What you do is click on playlists. See all these different topics right here. These topics are all the different things that I do on this channel, which is why I call it a variety channel. Get an idea what my channel is about in its entirety, okay? Please do that for me. You will be helping the channel algorithm but you also would be helping yourself by getting an idea of what all this channel entails once you do like that and you want to subscribe double check and make sure that this bell notification is set to all notifications all right appreciate you guys for that all right all right folks what's going on hope you guys are all doing well out there so yeah i have to do this video ladies and gentlemen i know y'all probably like dude what in the world yeah there's a lot of stuff i know that y'all know about me but there's a lot of stuff that you don't know about me i am a huge fan of dragon ball Dragon Ball Z. Now, I did not care too much for GT and some of the other uh, solitary movies that they made. Uh, but y'all are probably wondering why am I doing this video? First of all, let me just say this. I had to pretty much really, really tinker down and get myself to go. Because I feel like a lot of the stories and things that they play on Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball, they come out with all kinds of things. Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball Super, all of this different stuff. My son watched one and got somebody named Lord Beerus when Dragon, when Goku went Ultra Instinct, etc., etc. I still have not fully watched any of those. I did see the Broly movie, which I did enjoy. Now, what got me to really, really come to this one is the fact that I found out that the focus was going to be a little bit on Gohan, who is my favorite character in the whole movie, in the whole series. Gohan is my absolute 100 favorite person i grew up with dragon ball z folks so yes i'm going to talk about this so check this out when they had the boo saga going on it was like the most oh gut-wrenching like uh, when i was watching at the time that it came out i mean i would just come and want to watch this stuff before hitting the books doing homework etc etc and i love the fact that gohan came out with that ultra what well, gohan ultimate power and i say ultra gohan ultimate power and then after that, it seemed like Gohan just kind of fell off. I mean, the dude was like the main thing that was supposed to be coming up, doing his thing, taking the place of his dad, Goku, et cetera, et cetera, right? And then it's like as the story went on and the story progressed when it comes to Dragon Ball Z, don't get me wrong, I love Goku, but the stories that a lot of things uh, circled around was mainly Goku, right? So what I was upset about is that it's like I hate it because I to my sons would always try to get me to watch different ones. I'm like, I don't want to watch anything because I feel like they just fell off. They're not paying any attention to uh, Gohan. I mean, what the heck is going on with Gotenks? You know, et cetera, et cetera. So anyway, this Dragon Ball Super movie is, of course, another one uh, by Akira Toriyami. And uh, I'm trying to say this in a way so I don't get too much away. It is a sequel to Akira Toriyami's original Dragon Ball Magna. It follows the adventures of Goku and his friends during a 10-year time skip after the defeat of Majin Buu. And uh, in this particular one, Dragon Ball Z, they did their thing on this one, folks. Dragon Ball Super, superhero, is off the chain. Okay? I really, really did enjoy it. Like I told you, my sons were trying to get me to go. I was not trying to hear it. I was not trying to go. I'm like, oh, I want to go there. Da, 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 da. But I'm going to tell you what. Uh, there was some stuff in here where it took a little time to pick up. Okay? It took a little time to pick up. I'll say, you know, the first probably 15, 20 minutes of the movie, you just kind of like, okay, let me see what this is going to be about. Then the storyline started picking up. You know, of course, Piccolo's in here and a fight scene takes place to make you wonder like, okay, what's going on, et cetera, et cetera. But then things started to unfold. I'm like, oh, okay, this is pretty cool. And there's a lot of things in here that if you don't watch Dragon Ball Z, you're not a Saiyan fan, you don't know how strong they are, you won't get some of the things that happen in here. Like, for instance, my wife was watching this. There's a scene that happens in here that Gohan does something and somebody like me or my sons it, to, to somebody else, it may seem like the most minute thing, but to us, we'll be like, "Dah, that just goes to show how strong he is because he did something that seemed like it's so minute, but just to show how strong he is, he did it. So anyway, I can tell you that, you know, a lot of the things that if you watch Dragon Ball Z, when it comes to Gohan, once Gohan is not training, Gohan is always hitting the books. The dude is just super intelligent, super smart. 
Now, the issue is, is that a, most Saiyans always go and train because they're trying to stay up on it to make sure that there's not going to be no threat to Earth, right? And Gohan falls into that. If you don't know who um, his daughter is, Pan, you, you might be lost in this in one. I mean, you have to be a Dragon Ball Z fan to understand the characters that are in here, okay? So check this out. In here, there were so many moments in here. And I tell y'all, for the ones that won't know me and watch my channel, I got the ASMR in here twice. I got the hair tug during, um, during the Dragon Ball Z movie. I'm so glad that they focused on Gohan because in here, the last one we saw, we saw Gohan go ultimate, right? So that means he was beyond Super Saiyan 2. And they keep on talking about how Gohan has a power that is like completely just out of this world. It's like a hidden potential secret thing in him that just has to be released, whatever in here. So I like the story in here. I like the uh, I like the setup in here. What I don't like and what I didn't care too much for is a reoccurring nemesis. That's the type of things I don't care too much about. It's like, OK, come on now. Can it can they come up with something different, something new? To have them you know fight against but i can say this 100 percent i was completely thrilled and satisfied with gohan in here that's my dude i would like for them to do a story on from this with him and to you that are fans of dragon ball z if you definitely want to see gohan like bring it he did in here like he did something in here like i said this will be something i'll watch this twice that's how much that's how much I liked. Now, I didn't too care I didn't care too much for the dang on uh 3D stuff in there. My son was all like, "Oh, that's so good. It's so cool to do." But I didn't care too much for that. I wanted to be back to the original version that my eyes were used to. But I got to say this though, as it went on and I got kind of used to it, what they did in here with the color saturation and all that, especially like if you was watching this in like 4K, absolutely crazy extraordinary. The moves and the fighting choreography in here was off the chain. Like I said, the storyline was pretty good in here. I do like there's some characters that they introduced in here that I like that they added them in here to be like a, a bad guy, but then yet there's reasoning in here. And what I do like about this too is that it's not like no people just came together and they clashed. There's a reason why there was a fight in here. There's a reason why there was a good versus bad in here. But if you are a Dragon Ball Z fan, would I recommend you come and see Dragon Ball Super Superhero? Yes, you definitely should go and see it. So check this out. If there is to be a Dragon Ball Z game that's going to come out, I'm pretty sure they're going to add some stuff in here from this movie in there. So if you are a Dragon Ball, like I said, if you're a Dragon Ball Z fan, I would highly recommend you go see this movie. It took everything in me to go see it because I did not want to see anything. I was like, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of that. They're not going to do anything different. If I was to give this movie uh, out of a 10, for me, overall, uh, 8.96, something like that, 8.96. So I know y'all like, what is it with these ratings? I like to just try to do something different. I want to give you an 8, a 7. I'm going to give you some random numbers just to throw in there. Well, I would say like an 8.96 is what I would give this, though. But um, I thought that it was going to be some things in there. You know, there's your favorite. A lot of your favorite characters are going to be in here. There's a whole lot of surprises in here when it comes to uh, some fighting. There's some fighting in here that's going to take place that had everybody like, oh, wow. You know, and I'm, it's going to be with some something that you just totally don't expect. And like I said, the fact that it's Gohan, if you are a Gohan fan, you will not be disappointed with this. And also, they also show Gotenks. And Trunk in here in a surprising way that I think is going to be satisfying for y'all too. So anyway, folks, if you are a Dragon Ball Z fan, like I said, go check this out. And I want to know also if you did see this already, what did you think? And do not give out any spoilers. Some of y'all, I like the part where he did this. Don't get in here and say anything about that, okay? Don't say a word. Just tell me if you liked it and why you liked it without getting out any type of spoilers, okay? Appreciate that, folks. I know y'all like, dude, what? Yeah, I do movie reviews. I had time to go watch it. I'm a Dragon Ball Z fan. Seriously. All right, let me know what y'all think if y'all saw this, all right? For the ones that don't pay no attention to any of this, I know y'all like, dude, what is Ty doing? I know. I know. Anyway, I hope and pray for the last one of you guys have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I hope and pray for the last one of you guys are in great health, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus. What's going on everybody so hey check this out i appreciate you guys watching i appreciate you taking time out of your day to view these videos do not forget to subscribe to the channel give the video a thumbs up and also right here 
is where you can catch the next video, the latest video that I've done. But like right up here, this is stuff that I've done kind of in the past. So in this area, you might find a video that I've done in the past. It can be funny, it can be something serious. It does not matter. But this is something that you can also do to check out more material that I do in my channel because I do a lot in this channel, all right? So again, appreciate everything from you guys. Keep on watching it. Keep on supporting it. And God bless you all.